Hello, everyone. This is Omnitalk Retail coming to you live from Manifest 2024, booth K15, K15. One five, one five, fifteen, one whatever. Fiver. What's the, like, what's the, the um, you know, it's like uh, Alpha, Foxtrot, like what's Kappa? K? Kappa? Kappa? I think so. Kappa. This is why we keep this guy around. Kappa 1-5. Uh, it would not be a manifest, a proper manifest, if we didn't have the man sitting between us, between me and Mazinga and you. Chris Walton. Yes, of Omni Talk <laughs> Retail. Just in case. Forgot that part. Yeah. Forgot to introduce ourselves. But um, we'd like to introduce David Sobey, who's standing in between us, the Chief Executive Officer of Happy Returns, welcoming you back to a UPS company, by the way. Happy it Returns, it a, UPS is a UPS company. UPS company this we've, time. we've followed you since like 2016, David, back in the day. So I feel like. This is uh, we got to hear the the background story of everything that's happened and adding a UPS company is a new thing for us. Yeah. Um, well, first of all, good to see you again. Good to Thank see you, you too. Yeah, yeah you're. You I was. I was thinking about it. you're like our oldest friend in the industry. I we, think we've so. We've literally known you since 2016. Yes. Yeah, I think like when we had one return bar. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But it was impressive. People were bringing bikes up to you. Remember, like yeah. it was at that Santa Monica yes. place, and I remember somebody walking up with like a bike, and then somebody yeah. with a bag of like a T-shirt they were returning. I yeah. was super keen on the idea. I loved oh, yeah. it. I thought it was a really cool concept. Oh, yeah. But oh. yes, it's like wonderful yeah. to have fans. I like yes, <laughs> right. <laughs> but yes, remind remind everyone because we've had you on the show a couple times, right? Yes. This yep. is my but third it's been time a few on the years, show. Right. So like, yeah, remind remind everyone of who you are and. How Happy Returns came to be, first of all. Sure. So so I'm David Sobey. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Happy Returns. And the way that we came to be was a little over a decade ago, I was working at a flash sale retailer in L.A. called Hot Look. Yep. Uh, that's, that's where right. I met I my partner that. and co-founder, Mark Geller. Yeah. And yeah. if you know the Hot Look story, we ended up getting acquired by Nordstrom. Mm -hmm. And one of the programs that Mark and I worked on after the acquisition was letting Hot Look shoppers buy online and return products to Nordstrom Rack Stores. This was brilliant. So it was sort of buy online, return to store uh, from one division of Nordstrom to another. Yes. And the insights that we gained working on that program are what led to founding the company. And really simple terms, it was if you gave online shoppers the choice, you know, mail or turn back or return in person, they overwhelmingly prefer to return in person because it eliminates all the friction. Right. right? There's no printing oh, yeah. a label, no box, no waiting to get your money back. And so in 2015, we started the company with a really simple idea. It was buy online, return to store for retailers without stores. Um, fast forward to today, nine years later, uh, you know, we went through a period of venture funding. We were acquired by PayPal in 2021. Yes. And then most recently, as you point out, our news is that we were divested by PayPal and acquired by UPS uh, at the very end of last year, in October 2023. So what has that been like? since that happened and like I mean my mind just I remember reading the headline and there's so many things that you think about like what the what UPS is getting into now and uh, and the logistics that they provide for their consumers and now getting so deep into a consumer level um, opportunity like being able to return something to a happy returns location tell us what this journey has been like the last year yeah well I would say you know selling the same company twice is a <laughs> you know, I, I recommend it to anybody that, that can do it. Um, Basel top. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a good thing. Um, but no, I mean, uh, PayPal, being part of PayPal was wonderful. Um, you know, they allowed us to dream bigger and think bigger and think much longer term and really sort of take what was a, a startup and turn it into an enterprise grade right. solution. Right. Um, but I think, you know, as we, as PayPal was growing and focusing more on its payments core business, you know, we were adjacent to that. Mm -hmm. And so we had very healthy discussions with PayPal is this the right long-term home for the yeah. company? And uh, you know, so we started a process in early 2023 to try to figure out, I know how we might either, you know, divest Happy Returns or carve it out or find another partner to really invest in what we needed to take the business to the next level. Um, and the conversation with UPS just went incredibly well. Yeah. And you know, I think I'm thrilled because it's like the natural and right long-term home for this business, mm -hmm. right? I mean, when you ship it a lot is. of stuff, it's good to be owned by a shipping company. Yeah. When you need you know, physical places to drop off. It's hard to find a better partner than 5,000 plus UPS stores. Yes. Um, every major retailer in America has a relationship one way or another with UPS. Mm -hmm. uh, we're learning how to sell together. And then real just, you know, nuts and bolts stuff like um, we were talking about earlier, you know, we're opening a new warehouse this year uh, that's going to have a lot of automation involved in it. And we can really kind of count on UPS and their expertise to help us, you know, not make the mistakes that somebody might make uh, that hasn't scaled up a logistics business before. Yeah. So it's really just a great 
fit for us. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, the right long-term home for happy returns. Yeah, it feels really smart. And UPS has made a number of smart acquisitions in the last couple of years. I remember Delivery Solutions being a part of that yes. too, a company that we advise for as well. And so now you guys, it's cool to see it. Yeah, it's really yeah. cool to see. Yeah, so there's a whole host of us. There's Delivery Solutions. Yeah. There's Rody. Rody, yes. right, that's uh, right. Yeah, there's uh, where to go which is a business that UPS sort of incubated. Uh, there's UPS Capital. Um, and so you really have the nucleus of um, you know, sort of a digital business emerging from a logistics business. Yes. That's kind of providing, in all cases, like a connective tissue to merchants and to shoppers with really the experiences that they, they want and they need. And so I think it's, you know, I really salute the UPS management team for being, you know, so forward thinking. Innovative. To like right. Yeah. Yes. And to, and to yeah. say, like, hey, there are things that maybe we want to buy that, you know, w it'll help us move faster in the market to serve customer needs. Yeah. yeah it's very clairvoyant when you think about it. But so I'm, okay, so then wh you kind of talked about a little bit, but let's go a little more in depth. So where do things go next for, y for happy returns now under the UPS umbrella? What are you guys trying to bring home? Yeah, so this year is really about, um, I, I would say, you know, broad theme is just the ubiquity of box free in person return drop off, right? Okay. Like if you think about, you know, we started the company, it was this crazy idea, like, oh, I might, know buy a sweater from Everlane and then return it to a uh, an Ulta beauty store right mm -hmm. people thought that was crazy talk yeah you know now that's just kind of table stakes it in is e yeah you know? mm -hmm. but this year for us is really about um, moving from you know a lot of our customer set are uh, medium size S either SMBs or medium sized businesses um, this year is really about large enterprises large enterprises okay yeah. and you know the great news is that most of them have a relationship with UPS already right right and being part of UPS and you know happier turns a UPS company means something very different when you walk in the door and and you know knowing that the shield as they call it you know the UPS logo is behind you you know really has a has a huge impact on you know the kind of companies that outlets. are willing to work with us so yeah well I think it makes a lot of sense too and what we're hearing from a lot of the people we've interviewed here at the show is just how are you um, helping your customers make meaningful integrations like if they already have that relationship with UPS how are you giving UPS customers another option that is more convenient for them without kind of causing them to have another company that they're bringing into their ecosystem yeah it, it's a lot easier certainly when you when there's an existing agreement in place and happy returns can be an addendum yes as opposed to oh who is this company that you know is there risk associated with a startup versus you know right. being part of a, a much bigger organization one plus one equals three in the scenario that you're talking about yeah yeah, and I, I have to hand it to UPS. I mean, if you think about, you know, what we do at its core, a lot of the savings we drive for merchants is because of consolidation. Yeah. Right. Instead of individual shipments going back, and and so it's really it takes courage. You know, it's one of those like innovators' dilemmas. As a shipping company, if you get paid on each package, to say, well, gosh, we're going to take the leap of faith, and you know, we know this is what merchants want, we know this is what shoppers want. Yeah. But it might end up meaning less revenue for us, in the short term but a much stickier relationship with the merchants in the long term if we're delivering a solution that the shoppers love that saves money. Right. Well, and the thing that you didn't mention that I think is really important and seems to be a bigger topic than ever before here at Manifest is returns and sustainability and how you're helping retailers start to uh, make good on some of the promises that they've made to be more sustainable businesses, especially when it comes to returns. Um, what what are you are you hearing similar things like that at manifest that play into what you're doing at happy returns and what other things are you excited about here at the show yeah so so i think you know sustainability has been a theme forever i'd say that it's now something that just can't be ignored right and there's sort of no part of a retailer's business either the you know the materials that they manufacture from how they manufacture or how they ship uh, that doesn't need to have a sustainability lens through it um, so, so that continues to be a big, you know, big theme for us. I would say, you know, the other big one this year is really automation. Mm -hmm. And I would say the thing that is most exciting walking around the floor is just all the really? opportunities for automation. Yeah. Do you have a favorite? Like, is there something that you've seen that you're like, ah? Oh, well, so yeah, like where do you think I in your I operation o okay. automation could lend so the hand the most? Yeah. So, you know, we have the 10,000 drop off points we call the return bar network. From there, items get aggregated in, in commingled shipments and shipped to our processing facilities, which are warehouses. Yeah. We call them return hubs. And what you can imagine is that in the return hubs, there's a, a very manual today sorting task to separate the Everlane sweater from the Revolve dress, from the Allbirds, from the Rothies, right, right to be right. able to ship back. Um, we believe that robots can help us be much more efficient at that sorting process. Yeah. Mm. Um, and so we're, we're actually um, you know, launching a new East Coast warehouse this spring uh, that, you know, instead of using our normal, you know, automation 1.0 for us was conveyors. Yeah. Okay. You know, like instead of 
-hmm. people moving stuff around, yeah. conveyors. Automation 2.0 is robots actually moving things, mm -hmm. which is incredibly exciting and, and just cool. I You're mean, geeking out, aren't you? I know. I, I mean, I can, say, I can talk about this stuff all day long. You, you saw the geek in the <laughs> eye right there, <laughs> yeah. totally, when he started talking about that. I was like, you got to send us a, we got to get an invite to that yeah, uh, and come warehouse to yeah. and come yeah. check it yeah. out. I'd love yeah. to see yeah. that in action. Yeah. Yeah. Shoemakersville, Pennsylvania. That's awesome. Oh, all right. Pennsylvania. All right. All right. Well, let's get you out of here on this because I've been wanting to ask you this for a while. So you've had quite the journey. Like you said, you know, you, you talked about how it started, sold the company twice. Um, what advice do you have for young, there's a lot of them here, young entrepreneurs getting into this game? Well, I mean, I, I guess I would say two things. One, you know, it, it really does, and it sounds kind of cheesy, but surrounding yourself with great people is mm -hmm. the key. Um, I mean, could not do, I, I would say any entrepreneur would tell you that. It's like yeah. impossible to do things on your own, right? You need a partner. I mean, yeah, you guys are right. a partnership, right? Um, so, you know, people is kind of number one. Yeah, you know, the other is just like, and it's hard, I think, to appreciate this when you're starting something, but like the journey is long. Yeah. It requires incredible focus over yes. a long period of time. Yeah. It's not like overnight success. Very few Instagrams yeah. out there, right? right? right. You know, it's, and so it's like, you got to be really ready to say, I'm going to lock into this thing for the next decade. Uh, I'm going to, you know, tell the same story of founding Happy Returns 10,000 <laughs> times. Yeah. But, but still, no, actually, but still be yeah. excited to tell it, right? <laughs> right it's like, right. you know, you have to ask yourself if you have the passion to kind of go the distance because anything valuable takes a long time to build. Love that. Love that. Awesome. All right. Well, hey, man, our oldest friend I and know. our oldest friend doing this, I know, David, David Sobey of Happy Returns, a UPS company. That's right. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me, Chris. It's always a pleasure. Great to see you, Anne. And to all of you, thanks for tuning in. We'll be back with more interviews from the booth at Manifest K15 Kappa. One Kappa five is that what we one said? Fiver. Kappa one five. Kappa one no. fiver. Yep. And as always, and be careful out there.